In this video, I will show you how to install a texture palette that you just downloaded. When you go to gregulus.com and then go to resources, you can find a whole lot of resources that you can use for ray dynamic color and also ray dynamic texture. Now here, for example, you can find the default assets for ray dynamic texture. Now some texture packs you'll find here are free and some of them are paid. And this one is actually set to name your own price. So you can fill in any price that you want to pay. So think about whatever this product may be worth to you. If you want to take this for free, you can put in zero and then click on I want this. And then you're asked for your email address and then you can download it. So the downloads come in these zip files. So the first thing that we want to do is open this up. So now we have this folder. I'm going to put it in my texture library. And that's pretty much it. When I open it up and take the After Effects project, I can just import it in After Effects. And when I refresh the script, it will become available to me in the drop down. And then when you create a new composition, you can start to texture with those. Now, I highly encourage you to create a texture library folder somewhere on your hard drive or somewhere on an external hard drive where you have a lot of space. And in this folder, you should start to collect all the textures that you download over time so that there's always one folder where all those textures live. So then no matter what project you're working on, that project can always reference the textures that it needs. So this way you can set up all kinds of textures and presets for yourself. And then when you need those, you can just drag them into your project. So here's a good example of this. I have a After Effects project that's called Shapes. And when I import this, I can refresh the script and then call up Shapes. And in here, I have some of my most used shape layers or trim paths or repeaters. So if I click on this, I already get a pre-made shape layer that has sliders and everything on it and even keyframes uh, that is ready to go for me. So within a couple seconds, I have all the assets that I need in order to create my project and I don't have to like think where they came from or have to set up all these sliders again or find that one expression that I was using in this other project. I can just get everything to my own project in one single click. So the idea is that you build it up over time and over time your library becomes bigger and better. And at some point you're gonna just fly through After Effects because you have everything that you're using by hand. If you wanna share your texture palettes or even sell them online, then check out the next video and I'll show you how to set that up. I'm super excited to learn how this improves your workflow. And I'm also curious to see what texture palettes you wanna share with the community.